Hello, hello. Let's go over some motherboard holders. PCB holders. We currently have four that we use in our shop. This is one of the best PCB holders that I have in the shop here. The reason I like this because it's universal. It works with all phone motherboards. It works uh, actually with tablet motherboards and it's extremely easy to use. I do not see any parts on this that could possibly break in the future. I think this could last years and years and years to come. Very, very well made. So place a motherboard on it. Just go like this. You can open the clamp. And now it's stuck on there. We can do two boards at once. Like uh, I'm working on this board now. I need to get some components of this board and put it on this board. So while I'm under the microscope, I can zoom in here. I can take the component out. I can move the holder and put the component back in. I can't tell you how many times I've used this feature. It's an excellent feature. To be able to work on two boards at the same time, uh, that's priceless. We can easily clip the board, uh, just loosen the clamp, clip the board, and tighten the clamp. Right? So easy. I do not know what the material is, but it's uh, rigid, hard, and it's heat resistant. If you look at the back, nothing to it. Extremely easy to use. We can use this on a Samsung motherboard. I have one here. So this is a Samsung motherboard. Flip the board, we can do it like this. So we can use it on any phone, even tablets. Now we have two clamps, one in here and one in here. And what we can also do is we can clamp something in the middle. So I can have the phone like this and I can go like this if I want to clamp it in the middle. If you have something very big that you want to clamp, then you can So how many inches is this? I don't know. Let me give you an idea. Get a ruler and give you an idea of the opening that you see in the middle. Okay, so about uh, 3.5 inches opening. What if we open just this? This opening is about two and a half inches or two inches, sorry, two inches. So if you want to use this two inches, if you want to use this clamp, it's two inches, or if you want 3.5 inches, then you use the middle. Very nice, very nice holder. Now the holder does come with this here that we can take off. This it's meant for the iPhone ICs or any other IC. Like yesterday I was doing reboiling on an SMC chip for a MacBook. What I did is I used this to corner the IC in the corner here, there's room to actually put your uh, components here. Overall, excellent holder, and I really love it. Moving on to the next holder. Now, this is not labeled as a universal board holder, and that's true, it's not universal. It only works on iPhone motherboards. It holds motherboards from iPhone 5 to iPhone 8 Plus. We do not know if future boards will fit on here, but this holds all iPhone boards starting from 5. The way this works is the iPhone board will actually align with the pin here, like this. And then we have the we have these that, that goes on top of the board. You pull on it and you put it on top of the board. And we do the same here. So the board is secured in place. I can throw this from a 10 story building and I do not think the board is gonna get off the holder. It looks tough, strong. The uh, steel plate on the back. 
The problem is too many moving objects, too many plastic objects. I do not know how long these will last. Uh, this with use, it could break. And if this broke, I think the holder will be useless. So uh, the other thing is I find it uh, difficult to actually pull on this so we can put it over the board. Like we have to pull on this upwards like this and we slide it over the board. I find it more difficult than the previous holder that we went over. With this one here, I can just dial, put the board, and close the clamp. Very easy. With this one here, we just have to do some work. Up, put it on top of the board, like uh, let's put the iPhone motherboard again. If an iPhone board is longer than this, then we have room to go back. Okay, we need to do the same thing on the top here. So the board is secured in place by this and this. Like I said, if this plastic broke, then this board holder is useless. Now we have, we can put a board here also, but the thing is we cannot use, we cannot put two boards at the same time. Let's say I want to do what I was doing here, where, you know, I want to take a component from this board and put it on that board. I cannot do it here. So one side is for the front side of the iPhone. And this side here is if you want to flip the iPhone board. So let's say I want to have two boards, two iPhone boards that are facing the same way. I cannot do that. So if I have this iPhone, it's facing this way. And I want to have a second board that's facing this way so I can take components out from here and put it on here. I cannot do that because this is meant for the board to go like this and the other area here it's meant for the board to go to flip over and go like this so we can only use one board on this holder and it's not a universal holder so if i try to put a samsung motherboard on here it will not fit the molding on this is different so there's no way i can make a samsung board fit on there i was able to get this on top of the board but what about the top the board is still moving so it's only meant for iPhones. The build quality on this is nice. I like the build quality. Actually, I think it's the same material. This and this, the build quality is the same. This one has like a steel plate on it. This one doesn't. But believe it or not, this one weights more than this. And I like board holders that has some weight to it. Let me get a scale so we can see. Turn on the scale first. This one weighs uh, at 256 grams, whereas this one, 287 grams. So this one is about 30 grams heavier. Not only is it universal, not only is it easy to use, but it also has more weight to it. The weight, I think it's because of this one here. So if we take this out and weight this alone, it will be about the same weight as the other one. So between this and this, both of them are good. Both of them are nice. This is only meant for an iPhone. This will work with any phone. I would go for this. The third holder that we will be looking at is this cheapy here. It feels flimsy and lightweight. Let me weigh this and see how much it weighs in grams. 143 compared to 256 or the 286 that we measured earlier. So this is not heavy, not heavy at all. For starters, I think this is okay because it's cheap, around maybe seven, eight dollars. You can probably get it for even five dollars. This one here is about uh, 26 to 30 dollars. The same price for this, about 26 to 30 dollars. We started the business uh, about eight years ago, and this is what I had back then, and I still have it up till now. I do not use it, but I do use this if I want to heat an IC. Instead of doing it on the mat here, I heat it up on here. Let me show you how it works. It's very straightforward. You place a motherboard like this. 
we have to get the motherboard in between the the uh, grooves here this one has a groove also the motherboard will fit inside we have to push it forward like this and then we have to to put a screw okay it does come with a smaller screw but i'm using this one here because i lost the other one so that's how it holds the board is hollow from here the board is hollow from here and one of the biggest problems is iPhone motherboards has components on the edges. You need to be very careful when placing a board on this. You need to know if this is pressing on any components from this side, from this side, or from this side here. I constantly find myself needing to loop this. Whether it's this, they get stuck. And this. The parts, I do not see the parts breaking anytime soon on this. Uh, very few parts, there's no plastic parts on this, unlike this one here. Plastic part, plastic, 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 plastic. We do not know which one will break in the future or how it's going to hold up with use. The last holder that we have is this one here. I bought this in 2014. back in 2014 I wasn't aware that there's something like this in the market so I went ahead and bought this one here I have it in the shop but I do not really use it unless I need to press something I can open the clamps I can close the clamps I can actually tilt I can tilt it any way shape or form the thing about this is that the height is about seven inches so who would want to have this under a microscope it's a great clamp but it's not uh, something i would use for motherboard work i think this is more useful for something like uh, arts and crafts where you want to hold something you are, you're doing some detailed uh, woodwork or something like this then you can clamp it here the clamp is very strong we can tilt it any way shape or form so this definitely not i do not use it I got it a long time ago. I tried to make use of it, but the uh, end result is it's not useful. So between this, 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 and this, my number one choice is this one here because it works on all phones. One opening, two opening, three openings. I can use this up to two inches, also two inches, or I can make use of the middle, which, is, which opens up to 3.5 inches. So that's it for this video. We just reviewed four PCB holders.